Hello everyone, welcome back to the shop. Today we're starting part four of our four-part video series on forging a copper rose. Thank you for watching. Okay everyone, here we are at the workbench. So, we've already got our stem pretty much finished and that happened in the first, uh, in the third part of the series. In this part of the series, we're going to go ahead and finish up the bloom to the customer specifications. What we're trying to do is we're trying to take and just highlight in wire wheel this to get it back to more of a copper tone, like a bright orangish tone to it, and the outside as well. We're not going to focus on the interior parts. We want them to stay mostly black and blackened out to give it some nice contrast. So today I'm going to go ahead and clean up the end of the rose here. And then as a special treat, I'm going to show everyone how I go about finishing my copper roses and, you know, some of the thought process behind a proper finish on that. So without further ado, I'll just go ahead and I'll be over at the wire wheel. We'll do a little short time lapse. I won't keep you long today. And then I'll show you my actual finish finish that I put on this. And then if you guys have any questions or gals, put them in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer as many as I can. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay folks, here we are at the wire wheel. As you can see, I'm trying to keep the rose bloom moving and downstream of the top of the wire wheel. This prevents and reduces snagging of the wire wheel on the copper rose. As the copper rose is real soft, be careful. It likes to yank it. Okay, here we are outside my shop. I just have a table that sits outside. Usually this is in the sun. This just happens to be part of the day where it's not. It doesn't have to be in the sun, but you want the correct temperature or the correct climate in order for the painting to work out right. If you don't have the correct climate, then you need to create it. Usually they recommend between 70 and 80 degrees with about 40% relative humidity. This one says uh, 50%. Based on, let's see here, negative 50% relative humidity. Well, I live in Ohio, so it's going to be 50% humidity at least. Anyways, follow the paint instructions. Usually stuff works out. Sometimes you can mess around with it a little bit better. So I use a Rust-Oleum clear enamel finish. You pick that up at any of your hardware stores. And I do not, and I absolutely do not, and I'll repeat again, and do not touch the surface of your material with your bare hands. Don't do it. That's the reason why we acetoned it. So the next thing I want to take and point out is all the colors you see here are going to darken quite a bit whenever you put a filter over them. Coating something in paint, beeswax or oil will darken whatever surface finish you have. So you got to keep that in mind when you're finishing work. And that's going to be painted oiled or somewhat you're going to apply some sort of filtering medium over the material that you're taking and doing so sometimes you'll think oh man yeah i i want that to be darker that's too bright and then when you spray paint it or you oil it up it turns black and it's too dark and then you got to go back and try to lighten it up it takes a little bit to learn how to know when to stop once you get it to where you want it, but with enough practice, you'll be able to do it just fine. So when you paint, you wanna take and hold your can. They say 14 inches, I think that's a waste on overspray. So I hold it quite a bit closer and I start with my bloom first and I spray in heavy on the interior of the bloom to try to get it to run down into all those parts of the flower itself, of the rose. Then I come down the shank of the rose and just work it lightly. So I'm probably about, oh, I would say maybe eight inches away, no more than, no more than maybe 10 inches away as I spray. So this way you know how it's done. So. It's good to do a pretty good heavy coat 
But if the conditions aren't right, you'll have to go in stages. You'll have to give it one light coat, come back, give it another light coat, get, come back, give it another light coat, come back, give it another light coat until you get what you want. But that's it for today, guys and gals. I appreciate you all watching, especially everyone who's watched all the way to the end. Thank you for your subscribership and thank you for your support. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer them as soon as I can. And yeah, we'll catch you on the next video. Thank you all for watching.